Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel, or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ, and I'm an adult doll collector who just wants to talk about dolls, and this channel is meant for adult doll and toy collectors. So I have the LOL Surprise OMG, um, the new Lady Diva doll, where it's like two styles in one kind of thing going on. I did not mean to order this. Um, she was on my list on Amazon because I did eventually want to order her. Um, but I check Amazon religiously every day, every like 30 minutes on the hour because I'm waiting for Fantastic Fashion Poppy to come back in stock. And one day I caught her where she came back in stock. I went to go add her to my cart and Amazon kept saying, oh, nope sorry there was an issue can't add it to cart I'm like what do you mean there's an issue it says right there I can add her to cart so to check and make sure that my Amazon was not glitching I added her real quickly to my cart and I was like oh see there's not an issue so what's going on the issue was Poppy had already sold out yet again so then the next day Venus was back in stock and I real quickly hit add to cart and check out forgetting that she was also in my cart so that is how I ended up with her and I'm not upset I did want her I just didn't expect to get her right away but the trip this doll took to get to me okay she left an Amazon warehouse in Michigan I am in Michigan she left an Amazon warehouse in Michigan went to some place I've never even heard of that's in the U.S. then ended up in New York and then rerouted back to Michigan what why how i don't understand but this is a lady diva this is the new lol omgs that have just been released and these were 19.99 so 20 dollars after tax i don't know if these are supposed to be like a budget friendly version or what i don't know but there is the side here is the back and it says omg we sisters slay all day we strut unique style like the divas we are and we march to the beat of our own DJ, making everything a little more outrageous. We stand out from the crowd and write our own set of rules because we're here to surprise the world. And there are her supposed two different looks that you can get. Royal Bee, Swag, and Neonlicious are also in this line. So I think basically like the original four are in this line. There is her little sister. And here is her barcode if you are interested. These are readily available on Amazon. I have not seen them in stores at Walmart and I have not seen them in stores at Target, but I'm going to pretty much say that once the holidays die down and everything and they start restocking the shelves, I bet you more than anything, these will be on store shelves. But let's go ahead and get her unboxed. Okay, she is out of the box and I have some very sad news. She does not come with a stand. No stand whatsoever it just makes me so sad so I'm just using just a basic little cheapy stand that I got off of Amazon but she does come with a pair of sunglasses and the new and improved lol omg comb but no stand it's kind of sad but Let's go ahead and take a closer look at her. Okay. So her hair is up in a ponytail. I don't have the original Lady Diva doll that came out. I have the um, Lady Diva Fierce doll that came out and I got her on sale at Walmart for I think like $18 because I just loved her whole like aesthetic and everything with the snakes and everything. So I went ahead and I picked this one up because like I said, I don't have the original one. So I guess it's good that these are kind of coming out because if you didn't get the original ones, you can kind of get them again, just without a stand and I think different um, clothing pieces. So her hair is up in this little high pony. Her bangs right here are pinned back. She does have a little bit of product in her hair, but it's not too bad. Super soft, hair is still super soft. There is her makeup with her little beauty mark and then she does have little silver snake earrings they are removable if you want to take them out 
she has on a pair of leopard pink leopard print pink leopard print gloves they have little bows right here so cute she does have painted nails this is like her whole little top right here it's like that i don't know what this material is called but it's like that weird metallic-y type of material like it's not satin it's not leather I don't know what to call it it's just it's weird she does have little gemstones all over it right here just be very careful because I feel like it'd be like rainbow high where they can kind of like fall off so just be careful with that this is what the back looks like now because of the way she is packaged in the package the back of her skirt is all like a crinkled mess so there's that um but here are her shoes just like you know little basic little wedges slip-ons with a little black bow on them as far as the articulation goes she is articulated in the head the shoulder the elbow we still have wrist articulation and I believe she has bend and snap knees still yes still got the bend and snap knees all right, so the whole gimmick with these guys is you get two styles in one. So it's basically one doll and you get two looks. So with Lady Diva, her skirt back here is held by Velcro and you just kind of remove it to reveal her second look. So there is her skirt and here is her second outfit. So we still have the gloves. We still have this adorable like little corset type top with like pink like little trim fuzz going up here. This is super soft and she does have clear straps and she has on a pair of pink metallic leopard print pants and those are also held in the back by velcro but it is separate from her top so it's like two separate pieces so i wonder if you could remove her pants and just have her that would be i guess a little too scandalous for uh, a kid's toy but yeah but got the hip articulation bend and snap knee Okay, so overall, I have mixed feelings about this doll because I don't think this is a budget doll because I have seen the LOL OMG budget dolls at like Family Dollar, Dollar General, you know, stuff like that. And they have the very basic five points of articulation with articulation in the head, shoulder, and the hip. So one, two, three, four, five. They don't have the added... Um, bend and snap knee they don't have the elbow articulation or the wrist articulation so that's why i feel like this is not a budget lol omg doll we did so we didn't skimp out on the articulation and we didn't skimp out on the material for the clothing pieces because this is still a decent material we've got fuzzy you know little top going on up there we've got you know a skirt piece whoa this stand doesn't work for her really well We've got a skirt piece, the pants, the top, the gloves. So we're still getting decent quality clothes. We still have the articulation that we know and love. We're just skimping out on the stand, I guess. I We just didn't get a stand. So, And I'm like, I don't understand where LOL OMG is headed right now. Um, we had the tweens that were just released that have no wrist articulation. And then we have these that come out that have... The articulation that we know and love and the same decent quality fabric clothing pieces but i feel like it's a lackluster like it's missing something i don't know what it is and yes she was a decent price for 19.99 20 dollars after tax but it's just like i'm looking at her and i'm like i like you i i, I do but you're missing something and i just can't put my finger on it Still happy to have her in my collection considering I do not have the original Lady Diva. So that's a plus for me right there. But let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of these new LOL OMG 
two looks styles. I don't know if that's like the official name for these, but that's what's on the box. So that's what we're going with. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of her. All that good stuff. And I hope to see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.